Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha and fueled by StarTron. What's better than fishing in the Florida Keys? How about fishing a tournament in the Florida Keys? Yeah! Woo! And winning money. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. Hey, look at that. Welcome to the Florida Keys, a tropical paradise renowned for its world-class fishing. In this angler's haven, Tournament fishing takes center stage, offering an adrenaline-fueled experience like no other. Picture yourself on a picturesque dock surrounded by enthusiastic anglers from all corners of the globe. The salt air is filled with anticipation as boats are prepped, rods are rigged, and strategies are discussed. This is the heart of tournament fishing in the Florida Keys, where the pursuit of the biggest catch and the thrill of competition come together. The Florida Keys offer a diverse range of fish species, making it a dream destination for anglers seeking a challenge, from the acrobatic tarpon and lightning-fast bonefish to the powerful mahi-mahi and majestic billfish. These waters teem with game fish that will test your skills and push you to your limits. Each cast holds the promise of a trophy-sized catch, and every battle with a fish becomes an unforgettable memory. Tournament fishing in the Florida Keys fosters a sense of camaraderie among anglers. It's a chance to connect with like-minded individuals, share stories and techniques, and form lifelong friendships. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a novice angler, there's a place for everyone in this vibrant community. So, if you're ready to embark on another unforgettable sportsman's adventure, come join us in the Florida Keys for tournament fishing at its finest. First, we'll travel to the southernmost point and check out the Key West Marlin Tournament where one fish can mean the difference between winning and losing. Then, we'll head north to the Isla Morada Fishing Club Dolphin Tournament and watch how a winning team works together for bragging rights. Whether you're seeking trophies, camaraderie, or simply a chance to connect with nature, these turquoise waters will provide everything you need for an exhilarating journey. Get ready to cast your line, feel the excitement build, and create lasting memories in this angler's paradise known as the Florida Keys. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rodan, set it, forget it. Catch more fish. Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. Bahio Sunglasses, fresh eyes for a rich life. Pen, let the battle begin. And Startron, start, run, store with Startron. The historical Key West Marlin Tournament is a three-day event that takes place in conjunction with the annual Hemingway Days Festival that salutes the literary talent and angling prowess of the late author, who lived and wrote on the island in the 1930s. Before the anglers get underway, everyone gathers at the Perry Hotel and Marina. It's there that the registrations are finalized, swag is passed out, dinner is served, and the captains get the final word on the rules by organizer Tim Green. 30 feet maximum of double line, 10 feet of leader. This year, the tournament drew about 175 anglers fishing on 32 boats. 
So I like to fish, haven't been uh, deep sea fishing. My brother-in-law um, fishes a lot down here in the Florida Keys and um, we've been talking about doing a tournament for a while and this was the year that we came down and I came down and we did the, uh, <coughs> did the Marlin tournament. On day one, Linda D5, under the command of Captain Billy Wickers, takes Mike, Nick, and Laura Seoffi for their eighth year in a row fishing the tournament. And every morning, they make an offering to the seas for good luck. It is now 8.30. We are here to put the in. And it must have worked. Nick ends up fighting an estimated 400-pound blue marlin for almost four hours due to the fish being wrapped up. This catch is worth 400 points. Aboard the on course, Captain Rick is at the helm and trolling along the edge of a drop off. The barracuda are biting, but a few mahi get hooked up. One of the anglers, Mike, reels in a particularly large bull. There's a minimum weight for fun fish like wahoo, mahi mahi, and tuna. The best weight is added to the team's point total. Hell yeah! The crew seems to think it's a weighable fish. Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job. Day, the fun fish are packed in ice and transferred to the weigh station back at the Perry Hotel and Marina. It draws a crowd. The Mahi Mahi from the on course is weighed and it comes in at 23 and a half pounds. But at the end of day one, the blue marlin on the Linda D5 gives them the lead. Releases of a white marlin and a sailfish proved to be the winning combination for the Outer Limits team. Most billfish tournaments, like the Key West Marlin Tournament, are catch and release. So, to prevent any tall tales of a winning catch, every fish that is brought to the boat is called in, and the tournament organizers answer back with a color. That color, along with many others, are included in the team's registration package and must be captured in an uninterrupted video at the time the fish is caught. That video is sent to a verifier at the end of the day. After all is said and done, the awards banquet is poised to hand out some beautiful trophies and big checks. Our course, Bill Curry, won the tournament many times. It turns out the Mahi Mahi, caught by On Course, was the winner in its category and the crew is happy to receive the recognition. But the two billfish releases by Outer Limits ended up earning the team first place and a prize estimated to exceed $100,000. As far as the tournament, just winning the tournament is the, you know, kind of like a life achievement for me and I know Captain Jay too. Uh, he's been trying to win for 20 years now and finally got the opportunity, you know, the right things happened and we were in the right place at the right time and uh, got a win, which is pretty cool. If we get some money, that's cool, but I mean, we won the Key West Marlins tournament. That's really what it's all about. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Fenwick, Feel Everything, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing, Book your trip today at murphyslawsportfishing.com. Berkeley Prospect Chrome. And Island Lures Tournament Tackle. 
Hey guys, I'm here at the Boat Show and with me is Lucy Berg, the product specialist for Yamaha. Lucy, why don't you tell me about this 2.8 liter 200? Rick, this motor is a workhorse and has a solid customer base. It's known for its reliability and wide application. So what are some of the upgrades that we've done to this 200? Yamaha is beginning to bring those bigger offshore motor convenience features and confidence features for our motors down the family line. So we've added integrated steering. That steering system works directly with Hellmaster EX, plug and play. We also, just like we did on the 4.2 liter last year, we have the double click trim and tilt. So you simply double click up and it'll trim all the way up, double click down and it trims all the way down. Lucy, what size shaft lengths does this 200 come in? This comes in 25 and 20 inch. So guys, if you're thinking about repowering maybe a small center console, or you actually want to upgrade your bay boat, this, the amount of weight savings that you're going to have here can really make a huge difference because there is no shortcut in power when it comes to this. Let's talk a little bit about the warranty, Lucy. What do we got? So this is your three year warranty from the time of warranty registration. But remember, you could always upgrade to an extra two years with our YES warranty, and that's done through your dealer. So guys, if you have any questions, you can simply go to your local Yamaha dealer or you can go to yamahaoutboards.com. Captain Brian Cohn has been guiding anglers around Isla Mirada for many years. His specialty, Mahi Mahi. Maybe that's why he's one of the most winningest captains around. As in previous years, he's entering a team into the Isla Mirada Fishing Club Dolphin Tournament. Don and Travis are regulars when it comes to angling with Captain Brian, and this year, his son Andy joins the team. So the Alamrata Fishing Club, 24 years ago, started a dolphin tournament, and it was a three fish weight. It was the first ever three fish will win a tournament in the Florida Keys. And it actually started a concept that has gone across almost all the tournaments now. Racing for you, Travis, or Don. Yeah. The tournament runs only one day. The goal is to take your three best fish and make it to weigh by 5 p.m. They're not big enough to eat the bow like Oh, that's a... Yeah. Skinny bowl. I, there was one other shaker. We'll just take this bowl and we'll keep going. Last year, Captain Brian and his contagious team won the tournament with three fish, totaling over 90 pounds. This year, he's not as confident. Nice job, Trav. Repeat, repeat. Justin Matson. Justin Matson. I got the yeah. short stick. <laughs> He's used to using a short stick. Andy, you're making it hard on Justin. In, out, up, down. Now let it go, let it go. <laughs> 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 right. I got another set and I got a big, big piece of debris. I don't know how big it is, but it's big. So you trying to free gap the bowl? Yeah. 
Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands. Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. The American Fishing Tackle Company. Any fish, any water. Heroes on the water. Paddle, fish, heel. And the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. Roger, I've got sportsman adventure. Let's throw it back to 2015, when Captain Rick and his son, Captain Ridge, fished in the Oak Heart Key West Marlin Tournament. Hello. The team didn't finish with a win, but their guide, Captain Chris Trossett, helped get sailfish like this to the boat for those coveted points. Oh. Sportsman Adventure with a sailfish release at 1052. Oh, that's a nice job, guys. Good job, Ryan. All right, let him go. Come on. Thank you. Hell yeah. Nice awesome. job, man. Good job. Today's objective is to spot the weed lines and birds. The crew works the binoculars and gives Captain Brian a heading. I don't think there's any more fish here. Captain Brian doesn't linger on a spot too long. If nothing hits in the first few casts, it's on to the next spot. That was a nice fish that just ate Travis's value on his line. A decent sized one. Nice gaffer. That might have been the fish that I saw. I mean, that could have. Two, two fish were running for his bait for sure. Right here, right by the boat. They're just schoolies. I think you have the biggest one I've seen so far, Andy. Yeah. We'll just take these and we'll keep going. Oh yeah, there's that. It's the same three. Contagious makes it back to the dock with just enough time to get the best three fish and head over to the fishing club for the weigh-in. 6.8! It's almost 5 p.m. Most of the teams have weighed in, and Team Contagious is in the lead. Barely. There's just one more team to bring their fish in, but the organizers are firm on the cutoff time. And it's official. Team Contagious has done it again, just with much smaller fish. Our captain on the winning boat was Brian Cohn on the Contagious. 
Bushy with Don DeLeon and Travis Bennett and Andy Cohn. Come on up, guys. Contagious. At the awards dinner, every team member is given an award, and the big check comes out to top it all off. You know, another uh, Dolphin tournament under our belt, and it's always a pleasure to give Brian his gift certificate first. And we did this last year. He saved me a lot of time on the, um, on the check there. And then always a friend and, and a great guy, uh, Travis Bennett, I'm going to give you a check for $11,000. So, you know, if you're going to come to the Keys, we always have fish here. Sometimes they're really big, and you never know. Someone can always catch that big one. We had a 44-pounder caught the other day. It wasn't in the tournament, but, um, you know, they're out there, and fishing is fun. You know, there's nothing cooler than catching a bunch of dolphin. Of course, we have such versatility here in the Keys with the yellowtail fishing. We have the backcountry fishing, so the Keys is an awesome place to come, visit, and go fishing. As the sun sets over the horizon, casting its golden glow on the tranquil waters, tournament fishing in the Florida Keys leaves you with memories that will last a lifetime. The beauty of these islands, the thrill of the competition, and the camaraderie among fellow anglers create an experience that goes beyond a sportsman's adventure. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, and YouTube.